Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a Cezanne try-on and review of the fall collection. I picked up quite a few pieces of what has been released and today I'm going to go through, try everything on, give you a review and let you know what are the hits for me that I'll be keeping and what were the misses for me that I'll be sending back. For anyone who's new on my channel, I've been shopping from Cezanne for about 5 years now. I have a lot of their clothing in my wardrobe. So before I even order, I have a good idea of what is higher quality and what I'll probably like. But until I get it, try it on and feel the material in my hands, I never know 100% for sure. Everything in today's video that I'm showing has been purchased by myself. So in today's video, nothing has been sent to me for review or gifted. Just so you know what to expect for today's video, I'll be covering all of the pieces on the rail here. I have a pair of shoes that I'll also review. Finally, I'll do a little shop with me on the Cezanne website and I'll let you know what I think of the rest of the collection and also some of the things that I especially love from Cezanne and also some of the things that I tend not to order anymore. If there is something strange about sizing, I'll always mention it. But if the sizing is just, you know, standard, then I'll have the information down below. The first piece I want to share with you is the Cezanne Betty cardigan. I actually have this piece in a bright green, which I wear quite often for how bright it is. But I wanted something that was a bit more everyday and neutral, so I ordered it in a navy color. If you ask me what was my favorite Cezanne knit, it would be a toss up between the Leontine and probably the Betty, just because this knit is such nice quality. It's made from 100% merino wool and it's not one of those super super light merino wool knits. This one actually has a nice weight to it. The feeling of this knitwear is very comfortable. I'm wearing it on my bare skin and I don't feel like there's any kind of itchiness that I can sometimes feel from wool. I size down for a lot of Cezanne knitwear. I find a lot of it runs very oversized, very large. Whereas this one in my usual size, I think fits perfect. No need to size up or down. For every item I'm showing, I'll show you three ways of how I will wear it. And for this very classic item, I would definitely pair it with a more fluid trouser. I have quite a few pairs of these in my wardrobe and I would absolutely do most of the colors because the navy is so classic. I would of course pair it with any kind of denim. The ones that I've chosen out are more wide-legged in a white color. I would of course wear this with something very classic like a midi skirt in my wardrobe. And to stop it from feeling overly girly with the cardigan and the skirt, I've just paired it with my combat boots for a really balanced look. The next item is this very bright green cardigan. And the moment I saw this color, I knew I wanted to order it and try it on. I really love this color. I feel like it's one of those colors I feel very confident wearing. And I also just love it paired with different neutrals in my wardrobe. The hand feel of this one is very soft. It doesn't feel scratchy or uncomfortable against the skin. And I have tried some alpaca kind of mohair blends from Cezanne that do feel scratchy on me, but this one doesn't feel that way. Even though I've gone down a size, I still feel like it's very, very roomy, very oversized. The sleeves actually fit fairly well. It's not super, super long on my hand, but through the body, it's definitely very roomy. I love an oversized fit, but even for me, I would recommend sizing down because one size down will still give you a very roomy fit and I think it's plenty to work with. So around the cuff, I don't know if you can see that, but this area is in a different knit pattern compared to the rest of the knit. Even at the bottom of the knit, it also has this twisted pattern. So it has those subtle touches, and these are the things that I like about Cezanne knitwear. The fact that it's got the extra details, and I actually didn't even notice until I was looking very, very, very up close. At the piece. This is the piece I'm definitely keeping just because I'm obsessed with the color, but I want to show you how I will wear it and mix it into my wardrobe. When I look at this color, even though it's such a warm shade, I actually feel this urge to pair it with slightly more neutral or cool tones. The charcoal gray feels really, really fresh against this green color, and even though I feel like gold works perfectly with this green, I actually love mixing in some silver metals as well for that really fresh, unexpected color combo. In the next look, I'm pairing it with my white pants, which I wear with absolutely everything. And then I've just gone for a brown sandal. This is a warmer palette, but I really like how earthy everything is. And I think brown and this green are really good colors together. Other colors that I really love wearing with this green are blues and navies, because similar to the charcoal gray, I find it very balancing. 
Something that did let me down a little bit that I won't be keeping is this very light blue cardigan. So immediately, the moment I felt this, I knew that I wasn't going to keep it. When I have this one on my bare skin, it definitely feels a little bit itchy. And remember, I don't even have very sensitive skin. Whereas this on my bare skin feels very comfortable. This one is made from a mohair wool blend. And I just have to say, I'm not liking how it feels at all. Even though this piece didn't meet my expectation, I still want to show you how I would wear a light blue cardigan in this style. So I'm going to start it with the white trouser because it's really my most worn pant these days. And I wear it with everything. I really love the way light blue and brown looks. Even though I like light blue, most of the time I'm not hugely into pastels and I prefer earthier shades. So pairing the blue with the brown makes it so much more wearable for me and it's a color combination I constantly wear. I don't stray too far in the last look and I just pair the light blue with this tan khaki shade and this is another go-to combination if I wanted an overall lighter palette. This piece is definitely going back because I'm just not happy at all with how it feels. I think it's really quite itchy and it's been a long time since I've come across a Cezanne knit that I feel like is as rough as this one. I've had very good experiences recently, but this one is a definite no. I'm gonna put this box here. On a more positive note, this is a shirt that I absolutely love. This is the Tomboy shirt. When you're looking through the Cezanne website, there are lots of more exciting prints and colors than this shirt, but I feel like it's very understated and there are lots of nice details about it that I was drawn to. So firstly, the color I felt like was beautiful. It's a little bit more vibrant than the navies that I like to wear all the time, but it's still got this richness to it that I'm very drawn to. I really love the material used on this shirt. It's a viscose lyocell blend. And lyocell is one of my favorite materials because it's always super light to wear. It always has a nice drape. And I think you can really see that with this shirt, that the drape is just beautiful. If I move in a bit closer, you can see that the buttons are actually quite interesting. They're not silver. They've definitely got this kind of brown and white color to them, which is a nice detail. There's some buttons at the top, on the chest, down the front. And Cezanne buttons, I feel like, are super, super cute. For the sizing, I actually went one size up from my normal size. My regular size is a 34. I would say this fits true to size, and it fits in a very classic way. I wanted mine to fit a little bit more loose and oversized and relaxed, which is why I went a size up but I don't feel like it necessarily runs small. I think it's pretty true to size. Because this is the fall collection, I do want to show you a more autumnal color palette. So I would wear with the white pants and then I would add a suede brown belt. I have this one in my wardrobe from Susan actually. And I love the suede. I love the brown against the blue. Blues I feel like are perfect to wear in autumn because there are so many warmer tones in our wardrobe. Browns, rust, kind of burgundies. And I feel like blue is a really nice contrast to all of that on opposite side of the color wheel. I've been loving wearing pants a lot lately, um, but I would definitely just pair it with a simple white skirt as well as an alternative to my white pants. For a simple everyday look with jeans, I've chosen out my black pair. I feel like with blue jeans, there's just a little bit too much blue happening. So with black, we've got a little bit of contrast. And I'll also do a little bit of gold in the belt. Um, and I love that pop of gold with the blue. This is the next item I wanna share. This is a simple black merino knit. And then we've got some gold buttons here on the sleeve. Being that this piece is in merino wool, quality wise, it feels really nice. The beauty of this piece is definitely to have these gold buttons along the sleeve. If it's sat perfectly, you'll kind of get them laying flat. But because my sleeve is long, you get this instead and I just don't think it looks as chic. With any of Cezanne's knitwear designs that have the buttons along the sleeve, there's quite a few styles which I'll kind of show here. I recommend that if you are more petite, to either go a size down or just to skip the piece because if it doesn't fully showcase that flat, I don't think it looks as good. I went for my regular size. It fits me well, but I think for this particular style, I would prefer it to be a bit tighter. So I would go a size down as well if I was to do this again. But this one is going back. Compared to the black merino knit, this one I definitely prefer because of the fit. And I also like the design a little bit more. It's got the ruffles around the neckline and then the wrist, 
We've got a fancy kind of knit pattern running throughout and it feels a little bit more feminine than the other one. I think the gold buttons were really chic, but this one's a bit more girly. Because this piece is a lighter knit, it absolutely has to be comfortable on my skin because I'm always going to wear it directly on my skin. And the hand feel of this is really quite nice, not itchy, scratchy at all. And I think the fit of it is also pretty good. The only other thing I can think of is that you can undo the buttons and wear it slightly more open as well. I tend to prefer it just button up, uh, but you can wear it this way. For an outfit with more of a classic fit, I will pair it with these trousers that have vertical lines running down, and then with my black jacket. Everything about the fit of this is quite classic, so this is one way I will wear this piece. I will wear it alone in that transitional season with some wide-legged trousers. I think because the trousers are so wide-legged, I definitely want something super fitted on top. So this would be the perfect piece. Of course, I would definitely pair this piece with my blazers. So this time round, just inside my grey check blazer. The sweater vest over here is a merino wool blend. And I've been asked how heavy it is because obviously it's a vest. It would be nice to wear by itself and then also as a layering piece. If I show you up close, maybe you can kind of get a feel for it. I feel like it is more medium weight. It's definitely not like a super thick, chunky one, but it's also not super fine like this merino knit. It's somewhere in the middle of those two. Moving in a little bit closer, I really love the cable knit that they use. And then they've also got these big buttons on this side of the shoulder. This is a piece I've been styling quite often and I'm excited to see what other ways I can wear the sweater vest. I wore this combination last weekend. So I had a blue shirt. I put the sweater vest over the top so you could see the shirt tail and the, and the collar. And then I paired it with some jeans and then a brown coat. This is more of a preppy look, which is not usually how I would describe my style, but it was super fun to play with this combination. In the second outfit, I'm wearing this piece with a statement coat. And because we've got a statement coat, I actually love the combination of that with the more traditional kind of cable knit. It's a nice balance between really classic with the cable and then a little bit more statements with the coat. In the last outfit, I'm just wearing the sweater vest by itself with my white pants and then I'll carry a blazer to wear during the day as the weather gets colder. There are definitely days here in Sydney where this type of outfit is very practical um, because it's kind of warm during the day, cold at night, and this is what I'll wear. This is really a knitwear heavy video, but the last one is this cardigan. This is a chunkier cardigan and this one you can kind of see through the texture it's a lot more fluffy. To be honest, this one, if you're wearing it with like a black knit on the inside or a dark knit, you'll definitely see these little fluffs over your clothing. And that does annoy me a little. This is another alpaca blend knit. And this is also one of the heaviest knits that I'm showing today. Everything has been fairly transitional and light. Whereas this is something that I would definitely wear more towards winter. I can definitely feel a little bit more of that wool feeling compared to the green one, which is ultra soft, but not as much as the blue. So yeah, it's somewhere in the middle. This particular material, even though it could feel a little bit nicer, doesn't really bother me when I'm wearing it and it still does feel comfortable enough. Going back to sizing, I took the 2X small for this again and I definitely recommend going down the size. When something is this chunky and this oversized, I definitely feel like the less fabric, the better. So I like it one size down. If this was in my actual size, I would find it a little bit too overwhelming to wear. So size down if you're interested in this piece. Starting with my white trousers as usual in all of these looks, this is the combination that I've actually worn out quite a few times already. I've paired it with a textured metallic bag just because with knitwear and especially chunkier knitwear, I'm always careful to mix it with different textures so it doesn't look frumpy. The next look is very similar, except the trousers are a little bit wider and obviously in more of a tan color. Going off what I said about textures, in the last outfit, I've just paired it with a faux pattern skirt. I think this skirt makes this outfit feel a little bit modern, a bit more chic. Something I ordered is this set, which is absolutely a very statement crazy combination. I've been looking to build out my nighttime wardrobe a little bit, Right now, I just wear the most underwhelming things for evening, so I thought a little bit of sequins could be nice for nighttime. Looking at the website, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit less bright and colorful when it comes to the sequins. When I look at it, I see a lot of very bright blue, a lot of very bright pink, silver, and is there gold? 
and, and some gold. And the colors are really, really vibrant. Whereas I think that I expected it to be a little bit darker. If the colors were darker, I can actually see myself wearing it more often to shows and to bars, um, nights out. But because it's really vibrant, I think it's a bit too bright for what I can um, comfortably wear. This one I am not keeping, and I'll just mention some things about quality. I think that when you're wearing it, you can feel a little bit of sequins on your neckline and then on the edges of things, which is not the most comfortable. The skirt has a zip, so it goes on really easily, whereas the top, I wish, had a zip to it. Um, it only has the two buttons, which means that it does require a little bit of effort to get into the top. I've seen like one or two sequins around the box when I was pulling it out, so I imagine that it will kind of shed a little. Going to the style of this skirt, Cezanne does quite a few mini skirts in this style with the tie on the side. It is very mini. Um, 160 centimeters by foot three, so I'm short to begin with. And even then, this is as short as I would go. So if you're tall, um, this will be a very short skirt. The final clothing item I want to share today is the Lulu trouser. So I actually own the Lulu in a light yellow color, which I love for spring and for summer because of the color and then also the linen blend. So I thought I'll order it in a brown and see how I got along. First off, the fabric is quite different. Um, instead of it being that linen viscose blend, this one is more of like a synthetic feeling material. It's got that crepey texture to it. And I don't think that it's necessarily bad quality. It feels quite like substantial, but being that it's synthetic, it's not my favorite. So. That's the first thing. Um, I love the color though. I think the color is such a beautiful neutral for autumn, winter, but actually for all year round, I can see myself wearing this type of brown. I think that if I kept it, I would definitely wear it, but I do feel like maybe there are better brown trousers out there. Because I'm umming and ahhing, I feel like this one is going to go back. If you are a tall girl, this is the perfect trouser. It is so, so long on me that even when I'm wearing heels, um, it's still creating quite a puddle on the floor. If you are petite, know that for the Lulu, you definitely have to tailor it a significant length. I style white leg pants all the time, so for me, it's mostly about color when it comes to styling. I would love to pair this really beautiful soft brown color with a navy. Something like the navy Betty, I think would be stunning. This color, I think is the perfect shade to wear with the brown. Being that they're on different sides of the color wheel, I just think they're a very striking combination. For a different palette, I would do my cream top. The cream is very warm, it has a little bit of a yellow undertone, so that goes really nicely with the brown as well. I wanted to get in a little bit closer to share a review of these shoes. So starting off with the material, this shoe is made from a leather on the outside, it's a leather insole, and then the bottom is a gum material. So I think it's basically a rubber or synthetic on the sole. I purchased this shoe because I really love the style. It is simple, but obviously it's in this gold, and I do really like this T-bar detail. I just find it to be very chic um, of a design. That's definitely one of the pros for me. I feel like the design of this shoe is just absolutely stunning uh, with the gold and the T-bar. One of the cons for me is that I do know that this type of cracked metallic leather is very delicate. With the way that I walk and how much walking I do, I know it's very easy for this shoe to be quite scuffed at the front because of something that I kick or just how much walking I do. If I decide to keep this, this will definitely be an occasional shoe. So I may wear to dinner, shows, um, nicer places rather than every day. I also feel like these shoes run a little bit more on the narrow side. So I do have wider feet and I feel like they are a little bit narrow um, for me. Not so much that it's uncomfortable, but definitely on the narrow side. Something else to note is that even though Cezanne's website says French sizing, they are actually in European sizes. So I would always go one size up to a 39, which is my French size, but I would always be a 38 in Cezanne, which is my normal European size. And once I got that right, all the shoes have fit me well, but it did take me a while and a lot of confusion because it does say French sizing on their site, but everything is in European. This is another item that I am umming and ahhing over a little bit. I definitely love these. I will definitely wear it, but for me, it's just whether I can justify the price point. 
and the fact that they are more of a delicate shoe. In terms of quality, I haven't always gotten along with Cezanne shoes. As a matter of fact, there are quite a few pairs many years ago that I just didn't really love. But I also feel like I am quite hard on my shoes in terms of my lifestyle. And I do feel like through some recent purchases from them, that the quality does feel a bit nicer to me compared to what I remember. Undecided about these, but they're so stunning, I'm leaning towards a yes. Moving on to the final part of today's video, I'm going to go through the Cezanne website and let you know some of the things that I like to look out for when I'm shopping on the site. As I scroll down, looking at this lorry dress, looking at the Solange blouse, the gym coat, with these kind of printed pieces, I tend to be very, very particular. I need to be completely obsessed with the print for me to go for it. Otherwise, I just know that in you know a few months, the next season, I'm just not going to wear it nearly as much. It's not that I feel like a wardrobe shouldn't have printed pieces. I think that they're essential to balance out the classics, but I do want to wear them for a long time, which is why I tend to be more fussy. I do like these prints, but nothing is really standing out to me. Um, so for me, it's a skip. The Piero shirt is a Cezanne classic. I love this black print. I do have the polka dot version, so I can't justify this one, but I think that print is stunning with the kind of beige and blues in the print. For my Piero, I decided to go one size up to a size small because I like that looser fit and I'm very happy with the way it looks. This Diego jumper looks absolutely stunning. One of the first things I do when I look at knitwear is go straight to composition. And this one is 100% merino wool. That's usually something that's very tempting to me. I do really like this print. And I feel like I've seen Cezanne style these shorts with tights underneath, which I feel like is quite nice for the transitional season. But for the most part, a wool short is not something that I can really see myself wearing a lot. A lot of shorts already feel a little bit boxy on my body. And then for it to be wool, I feel like means that the material is slightly more structured, maybe a bit thicker. So I just get the feeling it's not going to be super flattering on me and it's going to be a bit boxy. This Zelda blouse is incredibly stunning. If I'm thinking about Lurex material though, I have ordered a dress from Cezanne before in the past, which I returned because I couldn't stand the metallic threads on my skin. I'm a little bit worried this will be like that, but the colors are incredibly, incredibly beautiful. I'm definitely staying away from white blouses in my wardrobe. I have so many of them, but this is a nice one. I think this sandy belt is really special. It's definitely more of a statement piece, but it is a really cool, interesting design. I think if your style is colorful and fun, uh, this is a really nice piece, but I think I wouldn't wear it um, enough. This is the other shoe that really caught my eye, especially in this really stunning color. Um, if I just go to maybe like a denim color, I don't like that at all. I don't even like the black to be honest. I feel like it's a very standard shoe. I see it all the time. But in this particular color with the more traditional style and then the more shiny leather, I think it looks really good. So if my Paolo jumper looked on me like this with the sleeve sitting flat there, I do like it. Um, and I like it now on the model but just not on myself when wearing it. If I was to get a printed jumper, it would definitely be this one. I think this green is really beautiful especially the way that it's been styled with those sandy pants. I actually recently found a pair of pants that I'm hoping will work for me in this type of style. Unfortunately, I just don't think Cezanne will release it. I often see them style different pants that don't make it into their collection, but that is a stunning pants actually. This is pretty, but this is a color combination I usually avoid. It's very pastel, very girly, but girly in like a young way. And, it, and it's one of the pieces that doesn't really speak to me in this collection. I'm obviously just throwing personal opinions around, but I think that's like the point of this. This jacket here reminds me a lot of Isabel Morant. I feel like they do a lot of prints like this. I appreciate that they mention where this design is from. I once did a whole research paper about cultural appropriation in fashion and I appreciate when they just make a note about where it's from. Even as someone who doesn't like pink, this is definitely something that I was incredibly tempted by just because of how beautiful the two colors work. I think on her coloring, it especially looks really nice. I don't think it will translate for me, which is why I skipped on it. But this is a jacket that I looked at a lot just because I was admiring the beautiful design. Quality wise, it's organic cotton, which you know you would hope for at this type of price. Stunning on the right person. We've got a lot of classic pieces here. 
Um, nothing's really screaming out to me. I'm not sure how I feel about this sweatshirt because in this outfit, I think it is so, so pretty with the colors, but I'm not sure if I like the text on it. I think it's a little bit random, but other than that, I've seen it on some people and it looks really nice. I'm just not sure the text really speaks to me. I really like that this purple Lulu seems to have a nice texture to it. Do you see that material? I really like when materials are slightly textured. Yeah, acetate, polyester, not great. I usually do tend to avoid pieces made from polyester, um, unless I'm like absolutely, completely in love with it. But yeah, no. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I really like this Christie combination with the pink and the blue. This type of baby pink, baby blue pastel, I feel like it's not the best on my skin tone. I have been admiring this on the model. I think the combination is super pretty. This is my light yellow Christy, which you will have definitely seen me style if you've been here before, but I think it's a really good classic fit blazer. Not too oversized, not too tight, a little bit long line without being overly long in my opinion. True to size. I feel like I have to take one last look at skirts because I usually will pick up a skirt from their collection, but I don't think anything really spoke to me this time round. So I already talked about the shorts. Um, the mini skirts I find are sometimes a little bit too mini, um, especially in terms of what I'm comfortable with. So I don't really look at those too much. I have my black Alicia, so I definitely wasn't going to get that one. This is pretty, but I just don't know how I would style that kind of really vibrant, slightly vintage feeling print um, in a way that still felt like my personal style. This Robin short I was really drawn to. It is a leather, so it is really quite expensive. The idea of wearing that with tights on the inside for the transitional season does feel very chic. There really weren't any skirts in this collection that I was particularly drawn to, to be honest. Uh, most of it is fine, but nothing stood out to me a lot. I've just taken a look through the coats, and I think of the coats, my favorite one is this Henry coat. I just like the print on it, to be honest, and I like that it's more of a cotton coat material. So it's something you could wear, something I could wear in my climate for longer than a wool coat. I could probably wear it for two or three seasons. If this was a long coat, which you guys know I always wear, I would absolutely go for it. But because it's a midi length, I am going to pass. But very tempting because I love, love the material. That's all I'm going to share from the website today. If I don't mention something, it's probably just because it didn't really catch my eye. And most of the tops and blouses for this collection just didn't really really interest me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If there was anything that you wanted to know that I didn't mention today, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. If there was anything you were interested in or wanted to know more about in terms of sizing, I will have the items linked down below as well as the size I took and my recommendation for sizing will also be down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, I do make Cezanne videos all the time and I'm also planning a trip to Europe and when I'm in Paris, I will hopefully visit the Cezanne store and take you with me in a video as well. If that's something you'd like to see, I would love for you to go hit subscribe, like today's video and I will see you next week.